Hey, there's something else that I didn't didn't mention in in the last uh, little file share, um, because there's a, a female that I communicate with, um, and uh, I send her, I share with her from time to time stuff that I I memory dump, and um, that may be helpful to her because of a lot that she's going through. That's why I'm, that's why we're here. Uh, healing. This is a primary primary water is primary healing, the eternal living waters of the crystal codes. And so she mentioned to me this morning in a text that she was having, uh, she's struggling. Okay. And so I sent her a little text and I said, try, I would suggest that you try to do this. I love you. See what happened? The AI did not want you to see what I just did. I was kissing my skin, the cells of my skin. I was kissing myself and loving myself. And it was as real as it gets. It does not want you to experience you showing yourself love that way. Because that's your own mirror. That's what you see in your mirror when you walk into nature and see trees and living life force. Whether it's a bear, whether it's a bird, whether it's a cloud, whether it's an ocean, whether it's a lake, whether it's a brook, whether it's a water bug, whether it's a sacred butterfly that came by my way just a little while ago. I communicated directly with the sun. Wow, that was so cool. I'm a sacred butterfly. Pollinators. The seed needs a grower. Being a seed and a grower is one. Right? A self-generating unit. The unisci. Oneness. And so I mentioned that to her, that that is a good practice is to and and this is where and i know what we call the resistance factor to experience zero which is no mass that's re resistance is what generates mass is the resistance to give away every single electron because you're not in fear to do that you're not in fear to give away all your energy forever. I refuse to hold on to one electron and experience any resistance to do that. Wherever God is, I am. And that makes it easy. So I, knows, I always know the one I'm with. So the memory wipe technology doesn't work on us. That's a cosmic level team. That's why we are here, right? As the proverbial, as they used to say, and I don't really like to say this word because of the kind of magnetic reaction that people might have if I say that word, but I will simply put it this way. I used to use the, the metaphors of being a fire engine that um, when, when God picks up the phone and says, okay, I need you, we come. That means, that means that when you're off and running and doing all the other creative things that you're doing, playing music with the rest of the universe, and then you get a call. Uh-oh, I know. Okay, it's really bad now. Okay, we're on our way. How far down the echo do you got to go? Now, I did a video on sort of explaining that metaphorically, going, sliding down the pole, spinning down the pole, ascending, descending spirals, two phases, one, the experience is still point of a true vacuum. How long is this going to take to restore what's been lost as a result of the net loss and gain of electrical power? And the realities that we program and thus experience in the use of our electrical power of restoring cosmic law, which is what love is. That's why we're here. That's why we love you all with zero charge. It comes natural. Don't even have to think about it. So it's not a thought. It's what we feel. The essence. The essence of eternal life. And the eternal gift and the eternal blessing 
that I experience being what that is in energy that I share with all of you. Like I did a video a number of years ago. I love what I am because I love the energy that I am. And the energy that I am is what love is. It goes on forever, gifting all of you what I am.